43, huh? Bet that thing has some stories to tell. Well, I tell you, I was Art. I was Art Galbraith, who was a, my, a generation older than myself. Uh, who was undoubtedly one of the best, almost violinists. Not really. He wasn't a hold down fiddler in the United mm -hmm. States, really. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we were playing at the Arch in St. Louis, and we were on stage, and we saw just we were just about through, and some guy walked along outside, big old tall, big Jewish guy, great big Jewish guy, and mm -hmm. had a cheap case, and there's a little. Notebook paper on the side said, Martin guitar for sale. Well, boy, we were watching like this. <laughs> the second we finished, choom, we shot off that stage, and we saw him go in the porta potties right underneath the arch there. So we stood outside and waited. He came out and I got this. He bought it first, $225. <gasps> mm. But yeah, then he was going to sell it to one of the woods, uh, Thelma Hermila's son, who was up there. Mm. But the thing is, this was, this. you know, you've seen the old guitar, so it pulls up here. And so the, Action down here, Lord, was that high, you know. Mm. But he couldn't sell it, so he let me buy it. And I took it out to this friend of mine in Springfield, and boy, he got this down. It's just as true all the way up. And it's true. It's been a good guitar. I had a lot of chances to sell it. I bet. Uh, I imagine. <laughs> but once I played for years, though. I played, a, I, I've got a J50 Gibson that I played most of the years when we toured and everything. Mm. But it's, it's it's a different sound. This is more crisp. This is more of a flat top pickers instrument, you know. Whereas that that big box uh, Gibson uh, was good for second and fiddlers and stuff. More bass note to it, more. But I'm not that. The only time, the only reason we did things was because of his fiddling, not because of my guitar playing. I guarantee you. <laughs> Well, I'm just kind of, I'm going to just sit back and just kind of oh. watch. I, well, I'm not much of a, I'm not much of a, uh, Well, the only way to do it is to learn. Yeah, I'll just kind of follow, follow the lady here and follow the lady here. What were you playing? I, see, I didn't know she played the fiddle. And I was I'm doing my tapes, 30 years of tapes, and I'm putting them on the computer. And uh, I came to a stage performance, and John Taylor was out there. And it was during the fiddle contest or something, and then they had the band on or something. I don't remember how it was. And he said, Rachel, you want to come out and play? He said, folks, this is Rachel Reynolds. And I thought, Rachel Reynolds, that's that girl I just met that Mark brought over here. And you played pig ankle, I think, didn't you? And I thought, well, boy, she kept quiet about this. That may have been the biggest mistake you ever made. What's pig ankle in? D or C? D. Or A. No, it's not an A. No, it's in... It's either in D or C. It's in D. I can remember if I can remember. Seventh. E. A. B. That's 
that's your quarter notes, so they tell me. All every quarter, all the rags have those in them. Every every quarter has that go around in it. That, not that particular one, but one like it. I understand. times on the first one, usually. They'll play that then one time on the second part, but on the high part there, I mean, what do you call it? What's the fine part? The, that, a what, part. the start part in the A part. Mm -hmm. They'll do that twice. Uh -huh. But you don't have to. You can do it the way you want to. I but you, you'll see it. guitar players probably all of a sudden having to go catch that A again. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah. I have a hard time keeping up with which part is which. Mm -hmm. And that, that's just, uh, and I, this, I just learned things from other... Then the other part is. Now you won't see them do that. That's really the best way to do this. Some of them just, some of them leave out half the chords if you'll ever notice. Some of them, they don't even worry about them, you know. But mm -hmm. that's the best way to do that. Yeah, I just learned that a few years ago. Two, you know? What do you figure your repertoire is? You ever write them down? No, I've never written them. You do them. that. I've never It'll help you remember them. them. Yeah, I think it. I think it would, because I remember names every once in a while of songs, and I can't. I get them confused, like that Planks the Airman and Mr. Big and S'more. Oh, you're playing a bunch of Irish stuff. See, that's gonna, because some of them are so close to what we play now. All those that's what that tape things. is. Well, that's what that tape is comparing. British Isles, really. We say Irish, but a lot of it, it's just British Isles. There's Welsh tunes in here too, and all mm -hmm. that. You know, we call them Scotch Irish. You know, Tobin's Tobin's dig or Tobin's favorite. I don't know. What's it in? Dig.
half of the foot. That's the only way. Now you could throw them these Irish. Now they're, they, they do almost like this kind of stuff now. They get really carried away with some of it. Hmm. And a lot of them will single string. The, the Irish seconds would be, and of course they don't use a guitar much hmm. in their stuff. Mm -hmm. My mother used to have one of those octave mandolins. Mm. One of Played like a bazooki, but it was yeah. bigger. Huh, than I don't know if I've ever seen one of those. Oh, it was great. It was neat. It had eight strings on it, like yeah. a mandolin, but it was just huge. <laughs> Probably the neck on it was twice as long as a guitar, but it was all fretted. Yeah.
Here, let me have your guitar there. Let me try it here. Oh, sure. Don't scratch that one if you play it. Now. All right, and, and the same goes for that one. Yeah. <laughs> That girl, a girl named Terry Stanford played the Irish harp, the little small one, you know. And I used, Art and I used to go out to Alvin State Street. There was a guy at an ornate metal place, and they'd all gather in there. We, that's where the last time I heard that. She played old Clarence Farewell, and oh, I don't know what all the other, you know that? Oh, Carolyn Farewell? Yeah. I did know yeah, it. I, don't I know, know it. Well, I, you play Irish worship woman? If I, if I, can you do the tune? Now see, I'm always asking that some filler for that. Let's see, why's it going? <laughs> <laughs> it's always how I was. I'd be like, huh? <laughs> well, this guitar feels just about like mine. If you want to switch there for a, for a while, I think that one may suit you, Gordy. <laughs> it's really amazing. <laughs> Get something else in. We don't need this. I've got, I need to find, I've got a... Uh, you a reader? Irish CD. Oh, yeah. I can read a little bit, but not very well. Not enough to hurt you. That's what they always say. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I got, out of, I got out of being a music major before they <laughs> ruined me. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. But um, I've got a CD from when I was in Mountain View of me and my mother playing in an Irish band and then the Dixie Darlings, oh, too. Yeah. So I See, I knew uh, Deb Mullins, or when she was, whatever she was before she was Deb Mullins, uh -huh. and after Deb, after Moon, too. Uh, yeah, it was me and. Uh, well, I've seen you before then. Mother uh, and Margie Earls. That was a fiddler? Mar no, Margie Earls was the auto heart player, and me and okay. Deb played the fiddle, and then Deb played the guitar. That was well, now, the there first was some woman Garland. that was. What was your mother's name? Uh, Ginger Reynolds. And then after it was the girl you were talking about. That played almost classical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I, I may the, not have seen That was the second go around. Yeah, okay. All right. That's as much I knew. And they sold all the cities where they were. I lost my fine tuner on my new string. And I It's not the it's not the actual Cindy. He's one, it's he's just one of these flashy bar quarters. 
I couldn't do that. I had to. I can't do my. Oh, I could saw my guitar don't off be right fooled. here. Don't be fooled. You just saw some of those chords you was pulling out two songs ago. I don't, oh. I don't know what they are. Let's see. get you into too much of this kind of music now. I don't want him ruining you with this kind of stuff. I didn't come up from I didn't come up from my mountain view side. <laughs> <laughs> He's from the wash towels. <laughs> oh well you that's that hot spring people you know. Well yeah. We get ruined by all the all the tourists. <laughs> yeah, y'all have about two hundred years on the Ozark sunset. What's that? The tourism hits all the That's right. Like the Spanish came by. In 14. Yeah. What was it? Like that? Did you know Dr. Sun, our friend of ours, had throat cancer? And he came to Little Rock to go with Dr. Sun. Dr. Sun? S U N N? Oh, I, don't, I don't know. He, uh, it. Oh, I don't know. Bill what? Clinton's doctor. Oh, I, I do I do know uh, Virginia Kelly. She you know Bill's uh, mother. She lived in Hot Springs, and Doctor Sun is related to the Kellys. And I went to high school with Kelly. It's Bill Clinton's niece. Is she oh. was a year older than I was, and it was it was she. That, that's her family. Right? David, the Suns. Dennis was the nephew. Pretty boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Doctor, 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 that's our country. all this country. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Floyd, he's from South My Salisbury. great uncle was at the back of the house when Bonnie and Clyde broke out in Joplin. He oh, was a detective, really? yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, let's not waste too much time. With all this okay. Sorry. Right. I'm related to John Wesley. Have you got, have you, have you, either one of you have a picture with, with Hillary? Either one of you have a picture with Hillary? I do. <laughs> I do. Well, I went, I, I've I went, got a picture of Bill. White House to a reception and when wow. I went and Bill huh. shook hands and. I tell people I asked her why I put the past year, past year place on the White River a lot of times. <laughs> they, think, they, they think I really did. I, I, but I brought it home and showed it to her. I said, Mona, I'm going to blow it up and hang it over our mantel. You know, guess where it is? It's hanging in the corner of the basement right now in a little 8 by 10. That's where all the treasures are. Yeah. <laughs>
tell you, the trouble with a lot of people, you, these hot young fiddlers play that so fast, and you can't get all the notes in if you play it too fast. Uh -uh, and no. they, they slur them, you know. See, and that's what they, I don't like that. Neither pick your hair and tail. They go really fast, you know. And mm. nicest fella you'll ever yeah. meet, and I love his girlfriend to death. She's a good friend of mine, but. Talking about Pat? Yeah. <laughs> but he gets playing that. Oh, they just go. And it's, and you know, I, it's he plays bluegrass, and you know, I've never, bluegrass is hard for me to listen to uh, because I, it's so fast. I, I, it's quite fast but about 20 minutes, and, and I played with some bluegrass groups, jamming. <laughs> uh -huh. Just fast. It's all one tempo, you know. Yeah, it's and full it's, speed uh, ahead, and I just can't fit no. all those. Well, that banjo player usually dominates those anyway. Fisher's Hornpipe, too. Yeah. Well, there's not, there, there is a good banjo picker here in town, but they, he doesn't play with any of the bands around here. He lives two houses down, and he's Charlie. Charlie. He came down to a picking one time. He's probably 40 something, mm -hmm. I would guess. Probably. And he's got to be studio, studio quality, just a ringer, is what I'd call it. But yeah. What's your name again? David Dunn. Dunn. D U N N? D U N N. Okay. All right. yeah, okay. Now I got it. I won't forget oh, it. Oh, okay. We're I'll on, forget okay. it. On record here. And try the oop pick. Boy, oh, okay. Well, I'll butcher it. This is, but David and I sat and tried to figure out the chord. I'd never tried to sit. Uh, sometimes I can't believe it. Toothpick Walsh, you mean. Toothpick. Toothpick. <laughs> in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
up there a little bit. It's fun. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm enjoying this. You go ahead and play that if you want to. Mm. I've got to go to the restroom. So oh, well. I'd rather put this one now okay. and let you hold that. All right. and so I have to play that first part twice because you're going to throw some of these. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's the truth. They do. The Violet Hensley always did that. They, they always talked about when we first started hearing Violet Hensley. She just played one, 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 one. I said, mm -hmm. we finally told her you need to go for two, but you don't have to. Yeah. Well, I just got to get back in the swing of it. Remember, it's remembering them first. Yeah. And then I'll, and then I'll work on my style list and change it. <laughs> I'll get them all tweaked up. Show and tell. <laughs> Don't know that. Show and tell. <laughs> <laughs>
quit playing that long, long time ago because all the bluegrass was just drove in the ground. Mm -hmm. Or the new folky people were playing that so much, you know. Right. I hadn't played that, I forgot how it even went. <laughs> no, I don't know if I ever knew. To work tomorrow. Oh, my Lord, it's 10 o'clock. I know, and I'm about to pass out. Well, let's play a couple sleep. more. I believe I'll finish up this 45 minutes here. <laughs> go to sleep. We won't take a fish. I got a, no. I got a queen size pillow top bed up there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that tune old enough to be the basis for Take Me Out to the Ballpark? No, but it, it's a song in the 50s in one of the movies. They made a song out of that, too. Oh, okay. The Loveliest Night of the Year or something like that. I've okay. never played it, but I've heard it enough times. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Uh, what's the mountain you tune, do you know? Uh -huh. Well, I've played all, all those. You play any other rags? You play any other rags? I did. I used to play uh, Maple Leaf Rag, but I can't remember it. That's the one I told you I played at a drill contest made me throw up. Oh. <laughs> I played well, it and better. immediately walked off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that tonight. Let's get that tonight. Had his own stress <laughs> Some of the fiddlers play a lot of rags up there. Mm -hmm. This boy from back tomorrow, if, if we get back in time, he's going to be in Springfield. He goes to College of Ozarks. He's learning to Bob Holt. He's one of the best coming on now of old time fiddler. Not contest, he's not a contest fiddler. Mm -hmm. And then there's a girl who goes to Drury that uh, she's really more classical, but she learned a lot under Bob Holt. And they want to get together tomorrow afternoon at my house. But I want to hear how they're doing in college anyway. He said she's already had about six majors she's changed every time you know yeah. but she's a good musician but they play you know who uh, norman blake is and nancy blake norman and nancy blake mm -mm. oh so you're a different generation you talk about musicians i can play shokin's farewell if not yeah if i can remember it i know how to play it 